Kamakura, known as the Kyoto of the East. It's only an hour away from Tokyo and a popular tourist destination. The day before, I started from the Miura Peninsula and biked through heavy rain all the way up to Ofuna, just north of Kamakura. It's now day 5 of my bike trip across Japan, and today I'll be exploring the historic town of Kamakura, and finally ending the day at Enoshima, where my next accommodation is. Good morning! So it's 7 a.m. and I'm just in front of where I stayed at last night. It's this internet manga cafe called Kaikatsu Club. And there's a couple reasons why I'm out and about really early. And one of them is because they charge by the hour. The other reason is because it's going to start raining today, like around 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. I want to try to get everything done before that. I figured I'd start moving already, so that's why I switched to the bike. Last night was really tough coming all the way here while it was pouring. And because I'm starting my trip in the spring, going into summer, I'll be cycling through rainy season, so there's gonna be a lot more rain. Today is going to be kind of a busy day. Starting off the day exploring Kamakura, taking pictures and looking around, and then I'll have to bike to Fujisawa, where I'll be going to a bike shop to hopefully replace the rack. And then I'll be going to my next accommodation in Enoshima. I don't think I can get everything done before the rain, but hopefully not get poured on again. So yeah. Today on my way to the Internet Manga Cafe, I actually passed by Kamakura and saw a lot of good places. So I saved them on my phone and today I'll go check them out. Now, I'm pretty excited because I've this is going to be my second time in Kamakura. I only went the first time I came to Japan and at that time it was packed. So I didn't really enjoy it but this time hopefully well I know for sure there's not a lot of people so yeah it's gonna be fun I'll have to go to Daiso later to buy those silicone gels that keeps everything dry. Probably gonna have to buy a bunch because it's not just my cameras, but all my bags are also wet inside. I couldn't completely dry them off. And I'll have to buy slippers because my shoes are wet too. I'm going to the front side of this temple because that's where they have like the Tori gates and like this really long path leading to it so yeah that should look very nice. So I just remembered that I actually went to this temple before, the first time I came here. I didn't remember it at first because when I came here, there were so many people that I couldn't even see the temple. <laughs> Stopped by Daiso and got the slippers and dehumidifier. Also got lunch. Aburi unagi abushi meshi. Bike parking was free, which was nice. I guess I was only here for less than an hour. Now I have to find a place to eat my bento. I don't think this is a good place.
ここです。あの横断歩道渡って中まで入る。ああ。中に置くとあ。ありがとうございます。はい。お入りください。ありがとうございます。Now heading towards the bike shop to hopefully get this rack repaired. When searching for bike shops, I noticed that Psycho Base Asahi was one of the most common ones in Japan, and there happened to be one nearby. So I headed on over. Ah, cookie, じゃなくてあの修理っていうかこれがちょっと壊れたんですけど。あ、これもう対応の重さ超えてるんで。うちのやつでも絶対これだと折れますね。あ、そうなんですか。So Cycle Base Asahi said I'm carrying way too much stuff. <laughs> they won't be able to help me. So, but then they recommended me another place nearby. So I'm gonna go check that out. To be honest, I was feeling quite discouraged. I was told that I was carrying way too much stuff. So even with a decent rack, it would end up breaking somewhere down the road. Still, it was too early to give up. At least until I heard. What the next bike shop had to say. All right, this is the second bike shop. Let's see what they can do. Stencher の修理なんですけど、ちょっと加工してあげれば出るかな。So it seems like they had a spare rack that fits into my bike. So now they're repairing it, and it's gonna take about three hours. Oh my god, I feel so relieved. The people at the other bike shop, they kind of like scared me. So yeah, I'll be back here in three hours. So three hours later, I have the bike shop. So three hours later, I have a new back, rear, rack, whatever you call that thing. I have a new back, rear, rack, whatever you call that thing. My previous rack had a main clamp that clamps onto the seat post and had adjustable poles that clamps onto the main frame underneath. While it looks very durable, the problem was that this rack is actually very weak against sideways vibrations. So with every turn I made, I would feel the back of my bike continue to shake even after the turn. Since my pannier bags were quite heavy, the impact of these aftershocks put a huge strain on the part of the rack that it was attached to, thus causing my rack to break. The new rack that I got from the bike shop Kogi is one solid piece of metal that attaches to the main frame underneath instead of adjustable poles, so there's much less shake after each turn, and it also feels very durable and reliable. So now I'm biking to Enoshima, where I'll be staying tonight. Tomorrow I'll be going to Odawara, which isn't too far, but then after that I'm cycling to Hakone, which is just straight uphill. I was really afraid that my bike might break down on that uphill path, so I'm really glad I got this fixed. So since I'm staying in Enoshima, if I have time tonight, maybe if it's not raining too hard, I want to try to check out the candle and kind of like look around before today ends. So hopefully it doesn't rain.